Hello you plums and welcome back to another Plum Plays and welcome to a new game. A new day, a new morning. Welcome to Little Hope. This is a game I know literally zero about but I've heard very, very, very good things about it. It's like a cinematic type, um, like where your decisions craft where you need to go and how things happen. Basically all I know is you're, there's four students, a teacher... You're stuck in a town. There's fog surrounding yet said town. <clears throat> you can't escape. And there's uh, dark visions and things from the past creeping its way in. Um, I'm very interested to see what it's about and how it goes. Um, you'll see some very familiar faces I can imagine, like real life actors in, in a sense. But um, yeah, let's get to it, shall we? Grab a snack, sit down, enjoy. Ah, let's go. All right. Oh, God. Uh, that looks nice. I want to eat there. Roadside diner. 9.42 p.m. Present day. This game looks B E A uniform. Oh, I should have grabbed a drink thirsty. Thirsty. Don't make me jump. Where is he going? It's giving me the chills. So, Bill. He looks awfully sus. Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. Right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Was there anyone on the bus? Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. He didn't want to go through there. I don't want to go through there either. that chip any harder it'll wear away to nothing how long have you been sober shy of three months oh pause i need to put subtitles on ah, oh my god first 90 days are the toughest and roughest i know it doesn't add up but i get something from holding on to this We're going the wrong way it's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down, it's all okay. Oh, please, John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? Oh. Um, excuse me, officer. Another crash.
bearing up there. Whoa, sorry. Ghost on the road. Come back! Big house. Jane, you know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after ten beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together family. is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough this You're not is the only me? one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. This isn't good. Poor lady. I think your uh, kid was talking to someone. Not tonight. No way. Hey. Tanya's late. She always is these days. Oh. You get to choose. Give her a break. At least one of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. <clears throat> He came in last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic. Legendary vinyl. <laughs> Quit pawing at it, will you? <clears throat> I think she was watching that, mate. Hey, Bigfoot, find the goddamn vinyl, will you? It was an accident. You need to be so tough on her. It was an accident. Everything Megan does is an accident. Damn ice. I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets open. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again? They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Dad's been drinking. Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days. Getting predictable. Like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the ten millionth time, will you ship that shit of yours up into the hey. attic? Some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought-after collection. <laughs> Don't go in the attic. Think she was a marine sergeant of past life. What's curled up his ass? Dennis is being Dennis. Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. What a surprise. <laughs> Careful out there. Hey, Dennis. Oh, dear. Hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. <gasps> hey! Quit acting crazy! 
crazy. This is interesting. <laughs> oh, fuck it out. Jesus. You scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. That's a hot bath. Hope you are, Megan. <clears throat> if you really are, Megan. Oh. Oh no. Maybe you should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? It just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Go check on her. Megan's gone upstairs. Maybe you could go check on her if you don't have other plans. I'll go find her. Press to pick up, move to examine, press to pick down. Okay, some matchsticks. Old school, mate. Old school. I like it. Go on, I'll have a pro. Oh, Pressing some heartbeat. John Stewart in the south wing coming up on Dallas Smith. Fast back, Shingle gets in score! Is that odd? to keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. It's okay, Dad. Tanya's checking on her right now. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Press to move to location. Stop moving at the edge. Okay, it's clicky clicky. All right, let's go this way. Oh, this is quite hard to move around, not gonna lie. That's shining. No, we don't need to open that, do we? Can we go upstairs? Anything in there? Lovely house. Surround of innocence. Perfect distraction from this madhouse. Oh god, I'll examine the New England witch trials. Interesting. Can we go to the upstairs land? Is that a thing? Or can we not go upstairs? Okay, I take it we can't go upstairs, that's fine. Let's have a look at this and go to the outside then, shall we? Okay. Locked. 
How come we can't go upstairs? Oh, fucking hell. Oh, Jesus. Oh, the tea. I forgot we're making the tea. Oh. It's not quite ready yet. It's down here. Anthony, where the hell are you? Anthony, where are you, goddammit? Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off. What's going on? Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me. Or oh, who's that behind? You could be right about my family. Oh, no. I think so, too. Tanya, what's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. Oh no. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Oh no, and the mum's locked in the bathroom upstairs. Dad's sound asleep. Megan! You in there? This is bad. The kitchen's on fire! <laughs> the kitchen's on fire pretty bad. Oh no. Mom. <laughs> Where the hell is everybody? Anthony, help! Go on, calm down. Jesus Christ. Kick it down. Smash the window with that shovel. That's it. Oh god. Anthony! Help! What should I do? <laughs> this is so stressful! Uh so if... try the down pipe. Yeah, she shouldn't have gone inside because then she would have burned. That does look a bit precarious. Something's going to grab her scarf. Isn't it?
I've been playing for two, five minutes and I've killed everyone. Oh my god! He's going to think it's all his fault. Jesus Christ. That was a bit of an intro. Everyone just died. I've just met everyone. Who's this geezer then? He thinks he's well, I don't know, look at him. Come on then, I ain't scared no ghost what you want, eh? Well, that was a quick game, everyone bloody died. Who's he, the devil or something? Ghost hunter? Police officer? Who knows? this elf looking geezer hello and welcome i don't believe that we've met before have we no matter He's to welcome me. to my repository i am the curator the guardian of all these wonderful stories and i have a very special tale for you to tell for me to tell or for you to tell me if you're you're the curate. Oh, no, no. Careful, mate. You gotta burn that down. Hmm. Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. Oh. Fire. No, there was nothing you could have done about that. Oh, thank What's God. What's happened thank has happened. Or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. Very true. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts. 
so much death. Very true. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. Oh, he's glad But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. Thank you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. <laughs> hmm. Thank you. I do enjoy a good funeral. <laughs> How morbid. <laughs> Big funeral, I reckon. Oh my god, how rude, excuse me. <clears throat> None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together. For eternity. In God's loving embrace. So did they all die? Or did they not all die? Whoa! Lightning bolt! Holy! Holy moly indeed! <laughs> Been reborn, mate. Andrew, eighteen, college student, anxious, detached. <clears throat> oh, he's on the bus. Oh, Taylor, twenty-two, college student, headstrong and sensitive. So we've got Taylor and Andrew, and John, forty-three, the professor. Rational and overbearing. Where the hell's Daniel? John Andrew. I can't find him. And I don't know. Taylor, sorry. Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? What's he doing? What's he doing anyway? He doesn't look that serious. Could be Changed. concussed. Okay, Professor. Or should I call you Doctor now? Why don't you try calling for help? <coughs> Maybe the cops, someone like that. Never thought that. Damn, I'd never have thought of that. Ugh, call for help, sure thing, Professor. Good job you're here. Okay, so if you press this. Oh, okay. So you can see the different characters. Oh, what's going on? Different characters' traits. Interesting. Hey, Andrew, buddy, how you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though. Just shaking up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Don't move. <clears throat> Why was the professor taking all these guys out for dinner, anyway? <sighs> Fucking thing useless piece of... 
crap? People will be dead. Okay, <clears throat> take it easy. We'll figure out what to do. Where's the bus driver gone then? Ah. Uh. Cool boat shoes, brew. Daniel, 20, college student. Amiable oh, and defensive. Where's my phone? <gasps> Who's that guy? I know that actor. <sighs> He's from Hunger Games, isn't he? Uh, uh, Maybe not. Angela, 48, mature student, abrasive and understanding. Go on, Angela Gill. Anyone up there? Hey, Daniel, that you? John, good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? They've got a fan. I'm all right, nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. That's not the guy from now <laughs> James. I was wrong. Hey, Taylor. Help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait. I don't remember anything. Who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John, you're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. <sighs> Teamwork at its finest. I had this dream. It was so real flames all around us it was grim that bang on the head must have been a beauty <laughs> that trail the others are on will come out down the road we'll meet them there <sighs> well leave the bus we should talk this through why leave the bus not like we have somewhere better to wait no we could be here all night our best move is to get to the others then head towards town see if we can find some help Where's the, Where's bus the driver? Shouldn't he be back by now? The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. You're right. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm right? The quicker we get help, the quicker we can all go home. Stick close behind me. Bearing updated. Traits updated. Come in, don't worry. I can't believe the driver just taking off like that and ditching us. Maybe you didn't realize. Could just be in shock. We're his responsibility. His what are you doing, Andrew? Stroll off. Cut me up like that. What's he looking at? Welcome to Little Hope. Abandoned Hope. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, in. You know this place? Little Hope? No. I mean, I don't think so. You should both know Little Hope. Why should I have heard of this place? Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. How do you know all this stuff anyway? <laughs> He's a teacher, though. I'm a professional academic. I read books, unlike some. <laughs> Easy, Einstein. I can match everything you got with just a smartphone. My <laughs> phone isn't so smart without a signal. Hi guys. Good to see you too. Finally. Everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. You sure as hell took your own sweet time. Just 
getting worried. <laughs> Wasn't that long, darling? I bet you were. This gate is chained. We can't get through. Good observation. Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this will do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one. Push. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Great job, you two. What's the plan now? Head into town, see if we can get help. You know where town is? Sure, we're near Little Hope. Sounds like a fun place. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. Can we get going without having a smart-ass lecture first? I'm starting not to like you or your attitude. Oh. I'm not even started yet. You want a little more? Oh. <laughs> Try to be civil. Cost nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. I'm not wasting another breath on you. Quit it, will you? Oh, well, Angela doesn't love me. The last need is you causing trouble. Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan, heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. So what do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? Okay. So say. I still think the smart move is for us all to stick together. You'd be glad we didn't stick together after we flagged down a car and come rescue your ass. I don't think that's a good idea, guys. You get lost? No. Back here? This doesn't add up. This is some very weird shit going on here. Spare us all. First he loses his pride, then he loses his way. What are you trying to say? That you've lost it. It's not possible. Look, I don't know what you're trying to prove here, but we've got better things to do. Daniel? Whoa. Hey, careful! Watch out! Quit fucking around and tell me what's going on here. The two of us will go together. This is getting ridiculous. Indulge me. You can't go through the fog. It just brings you straight back towards Little Hope. What? what? I walked away from you. We're trapped here. There's no way out. I, I don't understand. She's right. We walked dead straight going away from you. So how'd we end up back here? Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. <laughs> we came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. Well, obviously. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming. That's weird, man. I admit that is a little odd. <laughs> is it? More than a little. See? What did I tell you? It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped. We can't leave here. Now okay. what do we do? Calm down, breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in little no hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
I don't get what's happening to us. I don't understand. It's like you said, we're trapped in a nightmare. It's okay. We're gonna be just fine. We'll figure a way out of this together. Someone else thinks they can do a better job? Step right up. Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out of here. Right? Kind of I need to think straight. Football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Yeah, the fuck wants Sounds you to like go that way. Me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Agreed. Stick close to Gaynil. Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you... You know. You die? Forget about it. What... Oops, sorry, boss. Let stack up. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do that. I don't like the look of that place at all. Maybe they won't ask for ID. I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. <laughs> Why aren't we going with those guys? Angela knows there's something between us. That's obvious. We're really going to get into this now? Like we've got no other bigger shit to deal with tonight? This is a big deal. For me, anyhow. I'm telling you. Angela is onto us. She knows. What did you two talk about? She was digging around like she always does. What did you tell her? What exactly did you tell her back there? Relax. I said nothing about us. I'm not ready to go public about us yet. I will be soon, I promise. Anything I can do to help convince you I'm the right guy? I need to know 100% I can rely on you. That you'll never let me down. We should catch up with the others. <laughs> Don't lose you standing right there. They surely could hear him. Standing here all night or are we going inside? Oh, fucking hell. Oh. Hello, mate. Hi there. How you doing? Is he crying? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. You mean you're trapped I'm Sorry too? for busting in like this. Uh, bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. We're still a little shaken up. We're still a lot shaken up. 
He certainly looks shook up. <laughs> I'm Vince. I need a mirror. Maybe there's one here not covered in 20 years. Of Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. Need to keep a clear head. <clears throat> it's right there if you change your mind. Mm, no for right. Not for me. Why are you even here? Little Hope sure isn't the town it used to be. Mm. What do you mean, what happened? What happened here? What happened here? The place seems completely deserted. Little Hope feels a little like a ghost town. And that fog? Life moves on, you know. But we don't all go with it. Is there a phone, there a phone in here? We can use a way of contacting the outside world. There's a phone. But it's been dead for years. You know, maybe there's still one working in town. What is this guy's problem? <laughs> there's definitely something off about him. <laughs> uh, he's harmless. Just had one too many. Let's look around. There must be something here that can help us. See what you can dig up. Uh, he's in a world of his own. An old darts board. I was pretty good back in the day. Stay. Play a little, no problem. I'm gonna take a look around. <clears throat> Chase a bit of darts. <clears throat> At least I'm looking for a way out. What are you Just a quick throw? Then we'll figure out how we're getting out of here. Try for a big double. Or... Not my first time, Daniel. Shooting for double twenty. Okay, so you can play a little. Still got it. Now for triple twenty. <laughs> he loves it. Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. They don't play darts in the Olympics. <laughs> We're going for a bullseye. That is one <laughs> hell of a shot. <laughs> hey, you did better it. than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. Search the bar. Not really anything here? Something shiny over there. That's gonna be one old newspaper, I reckon. Date nineteen seventy nine. I vaguely remember what happened here. All the factories closed down. Hmm. Nineteen seventeen. I can't believe it. These guys could be relatives. Huh. That's old matey there, isn't it? Is that right? Actually, pick up, pick that up. This place has some great history. Castle with the vast parents and signs to watch for, and how these things are in the are the left hand path to delinqu delinquency and satism. Interesting. Oh, there's nothing. Oh, there's something else over there. Hey, this way. Let's get out of here and. You all hear that? I definitely heard something. It's a bell, wasn't it? Did. 
You hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was came from outside. You really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. Hope he's wiping them down before using them. You know, Corona and all that. The black cat. Huh. It's coming from the town. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. <laughs> there was something off about him. I come to Creepy Central just to get a top up. What does that mean? Heading into Little Hope feels like our only option. I'm not so sure about that. Where else can we go? I like this. This is cool. I'm getting um, Silent Hill vibes and a little bit... I don't know if anyone's played uh, Alan Wake back in the day. I have um, a bad feeling about this. I remember playing out on the old Xbox 360. That's the way this game. fog just appears... It's not natural. Can you two make an effort to keep up? Trying. <laughs> oh my Jesus Christ, stop doing that. Bloody hell. This is cool though, it's, it's like a film, you know, <clears throat> where you can see. <laughs> See things the characters can't see. Don't follow that, Andrew. Hey, can you come over here? What's wrong? I just saw someone in the woods. I can't see anyone. I definitely saw someone. 100%. Sorry, I don't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Edna. Godly hour. Oh, let's find the others. Okay. We really should catch up with the others. You two, we need to stick close. What the hell? What was that? Did you hear that? What on earth is that? Okay, very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel, Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. <gasps> hmm, so close to Angela. Find the others. Come on, Angela, this guy, that was weird. We don't need that in our lives. Whatever that was. I feel like these two are close. Hey, wait for us. Don't what like is this. that? What's this? Hey. Come and check this out. What on earth is that? Not a clue. That's a bit weird. Do you sure you want to pick that up, Andrew? Okay. Let's just put that back down. <laughs> what is your name, sir? Andrew. Andrew. I'm um, Andrew. Andrew? And <laughs> your name, lady? Who the hell are you? Why are you dressed like that? I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. 
Very good. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? No, thank you. Come play. Come play with what me. What witch's trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. Passes and truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. out here by the fire why do I, I don't see any fire that was weird I saw them too are you okay how can you not have seen that I couldn't see anything through this impossible impenetrable fog well go ahead tell them what we saw a little girl appeared out of the fog and then just like that she was gone again what is going on? Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here, clear as day. Said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but... She talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? <laughs> I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent. That was English, old boy. We've gotten ourselves into... British. This kid, Mary, did she want to hurt you? No, she didn't want to. No. I don't think she meant to hurt me. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. It's like I got all these torches on a minute. That was weird. So. Because that. Andrew is the same guy who burned in the fire. But was the fire in the past, and now this is the future? Hello? Well, that escalated rather quickly. It did. Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. That was a lot of ones, wasn't it? Don't you think? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Don't look at me. I can't help you. Remember? We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things seen and heard many beliefs and there's usually some element of truth in each of them these unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained i mean sinister movements in the forest spirits from the past a little girl who may be in trouble or maybe she simply is trouble Oh, plot twist. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps? Or perhaps he represents something else. I think get some weird vibes off of him. Then Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on. So far, so good. You're doing well. That fellow in the bar. He was less than helpful. More than a little rude, if you ask me. <laughs> Clearly something disturbing is on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope. And souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. All right. Oh, I'm really enjoying this. Very, very, very enjoying this. That little girl. 
girl, she sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. But she sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. Now, I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. You're right. I'm going to pause it right here. This seems like a good place to stop. See that like we're in our next <clears throat> kind of chapter. I hope you all enjoyed that. I'm really interested to see where this goes. Um, and let me know if you do enjoy the more longer uh, type videos. I'm going to try and do these probably little hope ones, probably about an hour, hour or so, hour and a bit long, so you get a more in depth view of the game. But anyway, let me know down below what you thought and if you um, want to see more and how quick you want to see more as well. We're going to upload it when I can and how I can, if that makes any sense. And click the old thumbs up button as well because it's always really appreciated. And if you haven't already, Pardon me, click the old subscribe as well, because that means a lot. And the old bell as well, if you wouldn't mind. Bring, bring, so you know when the old video is updated, but uploaded. But you don't have to. Anyway, I'm terrible at these outros. I'm sure I'll get better in time, but um, it's one of them things. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Stay safe in the old crazy world. And uh, cheers!